now that people are kind of moving away from certain chat applications, I am super pumped to show you 10 tips, tricks, and hacks on Telegram. Like profile videos, swanky stickers, jamming games with friends, and even a secret menu. But also, make sure you stay until the end because I have saved the best hack for last that you don't want to miss. So let's get into it. Now, let me start you off with something a little light, and that is you can customize just about anything within your chats. To do that, all you need to do is make your way to settings, then scroll down until you see chat settings. Once in here, you'll see a pretty sweet selection of customization options like the theme, for example, as well as custom color options that actually change the color of your message bar. You can also click on change background, and there are a bunch of fantastic different ones to choose from. And if you click on pattern, you can even change the background pattern of the wallpaper. Then if you wanted to change the text size by any chance, you can do that right at the top just over here. And if you make your way down the customization page, you will see this auto night mode, which essentially allows you to schedule dark mode on Telegram. All these customization options are so hot, I like it a lot. Now, everybody loves to use a good sticker here and there, and let's just talk about all the quality options Telegram has. They basically have a sticker pack for every category under the sun, and they're extremely easy to remove or add. You don't need to install or anything like that. I mean, come on, Telegram have the hugest selection of banging stickers. What's also pretty cool is you can preview these stickers just by clicking and holding down and swiping past through each sticker to see their various animations. Then, if you click and hold down a bit longer, this menu appears and you can activate a schedule just by choosing a day and time. Afterwards, you smack that schedule button and your sticker is good to go. What then happens is it actually goes into your scheduled messages folder. You'll also notice this calendar icon in the chat which will disappear once the scheduled message has been sent. But if stickers is not your jam, what's really wild about Telegram is when you select a single emoji and press that send button, the emoji becomes animated and it is just so much fun. Not every single single emoji has an animation, but most of them do, and you'll find them all as you go along. Now we gotta talk about some messaging hacks because I'm pretty sure every single one of us has made a spelling error before where we then go back, type in a star as well as the correct spelling and send. But with Telegram, you no longer need to do that because if you click and hold down on the message with a spelling error, you'll see this little pencil icon right at the top and if you click on that, you can actually edit the message you just sent. So correct the spelling, click send again and keep in mind you will see this little edited sign as well. Something else you may not have noticed about is self-destructing media. Right over here, if you click this clock icon, you can choose a time where your media will self-destruct within the chat. This is such a sneaky feature and I love it. The self-destruction timer will also only start once your friend has opened up the picture or video. After that, you'll see this little progress bar where eventually the media self-destructs. Speaking of which, if you head into a chat and click on those three little dots, then select clear history, you'll see this little pop-up menu appear at the bottom and here you can choose how long you want the messages and media to remain in your chat until it auto deletes. You can also go back and change these settings just by clicking on the profile picture. So the important thing is if you ever wanted to auto delete messages or media within a chat, now you know how. Okay, now here we have some banging photo customization and editing options that are so much more than your average chat applications. For example, if you click on the stickers icon, you can add any one of those downloaded stickers to your picture just like this. But not only that, if you head back to the sticker section and click on this mask icon, you can choose from a whole host of different stickers that you can apply straight to your picture and actually have quite a lot of fun with. Then if you want to add some text, you can of course also do this and to change the font you simply click on the text icon and select your font. Then if all that is still not enough you can click on this tuning icon and adjust just about anything when it comes to your picture whether it be shadows and highlights or even curves. And not only can you do this with photos but you can do it with videos too. You have the same editing options right at the bottom except you can actually choose to change the quality of your video which is so epic and you can even use a brush tool to add some pretty spicy effects. 
Then this is one feature you definitely got to try and it's pretty similar to sending voice messages. I'm pretty sure you're all super familiar with how to do that but within Telegram if you click on the mic icon it magically changes into a camera icon and what you can then do is click hold down and record a video message. I don't know about you guys but this kind of blew my mind and it also works the same way if you click hold down and swipe up it locks into place where you can then even toggle your camera around to use the back facing camera and grab some pretty snazzy footage. What's crazy is you can still then go ahead and edit that video message just by using this little editing bar at the bottom and when you've sent it off your friend will of course receive the message just like this and I think it is such a vibe it's so much better than sending voice notes. If you're in a hurry you can also play it at two times the speed or even pause and play within the chat. And by the way if you're enjoying the video so far definitely hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 1 million and if you subbed it would be Now we all know you can have a profile photo but with Telegram you can have a profile video. I know right, pretty nifty. To do this and have your own profile video, jump on over to settings and right over here tap on this camera icon. Then it'll open up your gallery and from here you can choose any video whatsoever, adjust it so it fits nicely in the window, trim it down with this editing bar and as I showed you guys earlier, edit and customize a whole bunch of different things. So for my profile video I spiced it up a bit using this coin sticker, placed it just over my right shoulder, then clicked done and like that guys I had a profile video that is definitely way cooler than having a standard profile picture. Okay, now I'm not gonna lie guys, when I first found this hack out, I was kind of shook. So what you're gonna do is, within the chat, click on the message section and type in at GameBot or at GameMe. The second you've typed that in, you'll see these game options appear automatically and straight away you can choose the game to start playing with your friends. This Corsair one is so simple, but let me tell you guys, it is actually really difficult to play, but a bunch of fun. And when I first shared this with my friends on Telegram, they were pretty amazed. Not gonna Lie. What's also really cool is this little notification that appears if someone within your chat is busy playing the game. There are so many different ones to choose from so definitely type in GameBot or GameMe and have a ton of fun guys. Then if you're into organization like I am, you are going to love this one. And what you're going to do is make your way over to settings and click on folders. Once in here, create a new folder. So for my example, I created family. And then what you're going to do is add all your open chats that relate to family. So I just added my dad and Mike. Then once that is done, tap the save button and create all your other folders like friends, work, spam, you name it. And from there, you can rearrange those folders. But the coolest part is, once all of that is done and you head back to the main chat section, you'll now notice all those custom folders you created are separate tabs at the top of your chat section. I don't know about you guys, but I find this extremely useful. Now let's talk about secret chats, how you can create them and what they do. So within the main chat menu, if you click on this little pencil icon, right over there, you will see new secret chat. And by the way, this definitely makes sure your chats are encrypted in Telegram. What you can then do from there is search for your contact. So I'm just chatting with my girl Shirley. And once you've selected that contact, your secret chat will begin. And now you can do quite a couple of nifty things. For example, a self-destruct timer. Once you've selected the amount of time this will apply to every single message as well as media that is sent in this chat. So for example right over here as soon as my message is sent within five seconds it disappears from the chat never to be seen again. This also applies to both people's messages within the chat and not just your own so make sure you're quick. Now this one is a huge time saving feature and let me show you how it's done. We've all had those messages before with a bunch of important information or addresses, you name it. Well in Telegram they make it pretty convenient. All you do is tap a hold down on the message, then tap the forward button and make sure to select saved messages. That message will then magically be placed in your saved message chat so that in future whenever you want to quick and easily access this message, copy and paste it, it's right over there along with all your other saved messages from all your multiple chats. Okay guys, now for a couple quick bonus hacks that you're definitely gonna wanna try. 
So did you know, once you've finished typing out a message, if you click and hold down on the send button, these two options appear where you can choose to schedule or send your message without a notification sound. Then of course, once you've chosen the time to schedule your message, it'll wait patiently in the scheduled message chat until the time is just right. Another thing you may not have known is you can delete other people's messages within a chat. Pretty crazy, right? So if you click and hold down on their message, then punch that trash icon, you can choose to remove the message for both yourself and the other person. That's pretty sneaky. Finally, this one I could only figure out on an iPhone, so if you know how to do this on Samsung, let me know in the comments. But watch closely, if you go to the settings section and tap 10 times on the settings icon, you'll access a super hidden menu just like that with a whole bunch of other settings that you can choose to check out, toggle on or customize to suit your Telegram needs. So now that you guys know a little bit more about Telegram, I think you can see WhatsApp definitely have some catching up to do and Telegram is probably the most advanced chat app in the world. Boom. But you guys let me know what you think of Telegram and also if you want to see some more tips, tricks and hacks. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!